Hey guys, how's it going? Onion Man here, and today we're taking a look at a new Switch Pro controller I got from Power A. It's uh, Animal Crossing themed, so let's take a look. Okay, guys, so this is the Animal Crossing uh, controller here. They had, I believe, two different options. They had the KK version, and there's also Timmy and Tommy. I went for this one. I like the color scheme a little better. They were both pretty cool, but. Uh, you know what? First, let's look at the box here, see what's all on here. Uh, so, in the back, we got Bluetooth wireless. So, it is wireless. And if it's Bluetooth, that means you probably can use it with your computer as well. Looks like it has some buttons you can map on the back here. Three different buttons. That'll be not necessarily for Animal Crossing, but maybe if, if there's some maybe a shooter or something on Switch, might be a good good way of getting some extra buttons out of it. Uh, what else here on the front? End, it says it does work with the light as well. I believe also works with light. Yeah, so it works with the Nintendo Switch Lite. And yeah, that is uh, basically everything on the box. It's not very very much, it's very simple. Hoping this thing will be good. Because it was slightly cheaper than an actual Pro Controller. Okay, nice. Uh, so there's the controller. And it actually does come with batteries too. That's kind of cool. So, put the box aside here. We got a little user manual, nothing too crazy. And then it came with two AA batteries, which is nice. Xbox needs to learn from... Actually, no, I think they, they give batteries too. Never mind. But either way, this is a nice little gesture. And then the controller itself. I have to say, you can tell this is not a pro controller. The quality, it does feel kind of cheap, not going to lie. Um, the buttons are decently responsive though. And you're not really needing anything crazy for a Switch really, to be honest, but you can tell that this plastic is uh, kind of on the cheaper side. It's not that quality Nintendo plastic, or even like other controllers like Xbox or PS4. The official ones are always better, but you can't always get the different themes like on those ones. So that's the part that I'm kind of going for here. And for what I need, this is fairly decent. Let's uh, pop these batteries in. Yeah, so on the back here, actually, this is the buttons here. There's uh, one on each arm piece here I guess and then there's one in the middle here as well I'm not totally sure what that one's for but and then on the bottom is your uh, I don't know if it's battery indicator or maybe just which player you are and joysticks those are pretty decent d-pad's not bad plus and minus yeah whatever middle buttons that's pretty good I think overall this controller shouldn't be too bad. Let's um, put these batteries in and make sure it actually turns on. Not that it matters because I don't think I kept my receipt anyways. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yep, it does uh, does work there. It's flashing now, so I think everything should work on it. There, I also should mention there is a little sync button on the top here, I think. That's just to sync it up to your Switch. Because this one doesn't have any plug-in cable to sync it like you do with uh, a wired controller. Or 
You know what, I think even, uh, what do you call it? The Joy-Cons, they plug onto the sides. You always attach it to the actual system. So this one, I guess you just synchronize it. Okay, well, that is uh, it for the unboxing here. It's a pretty awesome controller, it looks pretty nice. I will put a link in the description for you guys. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video and you like this controller, I will put a link down in the description for you guys. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Also hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. And subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.